whistle hanging on to my car The owner put the hammer down To figure out a way to make her want to stay Welcome to Texas Local Live. I am your host for the evening, Ben Martinek, and tonight we have Mr. Matt Castillo here of Matt and the Herdsman. Howdy, man. How you doing, man? Thanks for having me. Hey, first thanks time. For thanks first, for coming out. First time ever. First time ever. Both. In Irving and on Texas Local Live. Dude, yes. Yeah. We'll take it. We're awesome. We're right in the middle of uh, Dallas and Fort Worth right now, just kind of dead smack center, <laughs> hanging out here at the ranch in Las Colinas. If you're not here already, come on out. There right is on. plenty of food and drink to go around. If you're already here, keep drinking because you know that that's the f- the uh, truth here. They got some uh, really good uh, craft beers here. Dude, they do. Uh, they really do. They do. And then even their whiskeys. Their old fashions are really good. Mm-hmm. I'm big on old fashions. Oh, yeah? So, uh, very Whiskey delicious. guy then, yeah? Yeah, yeah definitely. Bourbon and, and, and bourbon, straight yeah. up whiskey. See, yeah. Yeah. Bourbon on the rocks for me, if you don't mind. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nice. I'll probably have one a little later. I'll Usually like, about 8 o'clock I get I'll one. I like your style, Good sir. nightcap, you know, just a nightcap. Why not? To cruise through the evening, listening to some <laughs> great tunes, uh, one of which will be you tonight. We're looking forward to hearing you play some, Thanks, play some stuff. Yeah, going to play some new stuff, uh, brand, brand new stuff that I got uh, brought back from Nashville and a few songwriter retreats. So I'm pretty cool. excited to uh, play that Very songs. good. What did you get back? I got back about a week ago. I spent four days up there. I wrote about, about three days, I'm sure. And I wrote three songs. And cool. so able to come back and then going to try them out tonight. And then hopefully they'll be on the third album that we're writing for, or I'm writing for, so go from there. Cool. We'll hear about that a little bit, but first off, yeah. I want to know why music. I got to know. I got to ask the question. Man, you know, um, I think music goes back to being in, living in Austin um, in the 90s, or even the 80s, you know. Uh, I was born in 87. You're, were you so born in I'm Austin? Not, That's yeah, cool. I was born in Austin. Okay, yeah. cool. So my mom had this... Uh, a, very, very good memory that I have. Um, if you're playing 40 songs a night, you better have a good memory. I think yes. that I do have. But, yeah, my mom had a uh, a gray Chevy Cavalier and the cassette tapes. And I remember I used to have Garth Brooks on there. Um, I, I, I remember playing a lot of Garth Brooks for some yeah. reason. Rope in the Wind was one of them that I used to play a lot, yeah. A-side and B-side. <laughs> and so then um, I moved. So I was living in Austin. I moved down the valley. And I remember I had some headphones, and I would turn those headphones around so I could be Garth Brooks for a while. And I like so it. Music, and they used to have these little, if you can remember this, they had these little, uh, well, almost like a little boom box, a little kid boom box. It was a cassette player. They had a little, had a little handle, and then you could detach it, and it has like a little microphone. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, heck yeah, dude. Yeah, I used to do Portable that. Portable karaoke, man. Oh, for yeah, sure, yeah. Heck yeah. You used to run around the house just playing. That's awesome. Again, and you could play the cassette tape to play along yeah, with it. Yeah. It was freaking awesome. That's great. So I think that's where the music, you know, started. And then I always, you know, I was involved in, you know, in band, drum line. Uh, I was in the pit for a while. I played, you know. I just, music was always been there. Sure. And so I never thought I was capable of doing it until a buddy of mine named Jordan um, out in Austin um, I was playing just guitar by myself. I learned to play guitar by myself nice. and had a book that my uncle had and I was just reading the chords. Yeah. First, the song er, first song I er, ever learned to play was uh, Much Too Young to Feel This Damn Old. So then I just started jamming with my buddy and he's like, hey man, uh, let's go to a couple of open mics. Went to open mics and I was nervous as hell. Yeah, as you should be. Uh, yeah, Cotton Mouth, first Couldn't one. Sing. I, I, I don't know. It was weird. So we did that for a while. Like It was every Wednesday we did something. And then uh, he's like, hey, dude, I got this opportunity. We get to open up for this band. We could do a song swap. It was at the Nutty Brown Cafe, my yeah. first show. So I owe it to Jordan because Jordan kind of gave me that push that I needed to kind of really Maybe. just open that door. Got to have that, yeah. So that was in Austin, and I moved down to Val- you know, I'm back in the Valley, and, and I found a great group of guys that cool. believed in what we're doing. And, and uh, it, we just been, it kind of just take it off from there. Yeah, and y'all are tearing up the state, man. Y'all are all over, all over the place. Trying too. to, man. Yeah. I owe it to my guys, so they're great. So uh, w- w- they make up what Matt and the Herdsman is. Without those guys, it can't sure. really be the sound that we're going for, you know? Yeah. But they're, they're great. So I wish I wish they could be with me everywhere we go, and everywhere yeah. I go. But you know, shout out to those guys. Yeah, yeah you know, I get it, man. Love them so. 
That's uh, awesome. Hey, shout out to the herdsmen. Or, yeah. My boys. Yeah. My boys. So Heck they're yeah. working hard. I know they're working hard back at home as much as I'm doing it for everybody. And so um, family and friends out there, hello. Hello. <laughs> shout out to all the family and friends. Familia. Dig hello. It. <laughs> Dig it, man. Dig it. <laughs> so uh, you started playing drums, yeah? Is that your first instrument you picked up or what? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So Drum percussion line. background. Yeah. I like it. Um, so back in the sixth grade, um, or seventh grade, actually, if you had a... If you were a percussion, you had this little bag that had yeah. a xylophone, yep. a little snare pad. Cost like a hundred bucks. Mm-hmm. I didn't really, really know what money was like until yeah. I started having some. I was like, oh, my parents spent all that money yeah. on me, you know? So I did that for a while and joined <laughs> the junior high. I was in the drum line. We had these little, um, uh, was it tri quints or whatever? Uh, I was. The quads? Quads, the, yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. so did that and then uh, moved into high school, did yeah. pit. And cool. then I was able to make the drum line my junior year. Nice. And that was awesome. Yeah, that's big. Talk about getting chicks, bruh. Dude, <laughs> all day, man. You got, dude. dude you got any line. kind of rhythm, yeah. Yeah, I remember, like, after halftime, we wouldn't even go back up to the stands, or the, you know, bleachers. We'd just stay down there with the cheerleaders yeah, and just dude. do some cadences. Dude, that's, That yeah. was awesome. I enjoyed that a lot. That's I was like, <laughs> yeah. It was so cool. Starting out as a drummer, kids. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't teach yourself guitar. Exactly. <laughs> that's awesome. At least you got the beat down. Yes, exactly. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you get the right hand rhythm down, and you can do uh, anything. Or left, depending on how you're playing. doesn't matter. However you want to do it. The rhythm hand down. <laughs> man, you're good to go. Dude. That's all that matters. Exactly, man. So when did you uh, when did you start actually writing your own stuff? Man, um, I I guess I started writing right when I got back to the valley because uh, I was in college and I got kicked out of college, so I had to go to Austin to ACC. Mm-hmm. And it wasn't well. With Jordan helped me out a little bit, and uh, I I got the urge. And I was able to write the first album that we had. And I didn't know. I was kind of like reckless. I was, and you know, I didn't care. There was no rules. Nobody was telling me how to do things. So yeah. I just wrote some songs. And and it went from there. And then later on, you know, hooked up with my buddy Jordan. And he, we wrote some really good songs and, and uh, put, on the, put on the second album that we have. But I just started writing. I, I don't you know just, the rules. Yeah, just didn't yeah, come from anywhere, but yeah. Just I don't like know how to wake up about it. Because it's just, a... Another yeah, vulnerable act. You had to put your yeah. soul out on paper. So exactly, it's, it's cool. kind of like when uh, you're just writing. You know, yeah. you just write. So my buddy Jordan was always telling me, you know, hey man, think of it like a, a movie. You know, what you want people to see. And then later on, I started really. In, this is what I want to do. I want to be good at it. I want to be great. Don't want to be a phony. Yeah. Let's learn the right. You, you know, know not the right way, but yeah. let's just learn about how to be a better person, yeah. and a better writer. You yeah. Know? So. Um, it, it went from there. It was good. Very was cool, good. man. Dig that. That's really interesting, dude. So you, uh, you've you been obviously tackling the scene in Texas quite a bit here for a little while now, right? How long have you been together? So we've been together for four years. Four years. So we're okay. going on five years, cool. October 6th. Nice. Nice. Coming so it's up. coming up. Yeah. It's coming up right now. It's another five year anniversary. Another one we pop champagne bottles and we just go crazy. Dude, we haven't done should. that yet. I'm you waiting should. for the number one on either the Texas charts sure. to hit number one so I can pop a champagne bottle, but it hasn't happened yet. But uh, hey, hopefully man. God willing, yeah. it will. <laughs> Dude, you keep keep doing what you're doing. It's going to happen to you. Man. Just trying to keep pushing for it. So. You just got to keep working. Because yeah. someone's going to stop working, and you'll be right by them. Texas Radio, just, everybody, just play our songs, please. That's just, <laughs> tell, them <laughs> out. Tell, tell them all right now. Call to every station. Pop, right country, doesn't matter. Just call. Tell you know, your name. And, you know, I've been on the road. I like being on the road, to be honest with you. I like it. I like getting out of the valley and representing the valley at the same time doing radio tours meeting people the program directors um just being on the road i like it yeah i, I like you know that lifestyle you dig it yeah. it's good you know yeah get, get to miss some people and and uh it's not for everybody either man it definitely takes a different mindset no it's not it's you don't really know if you're up for it until you're in it yeah. and then after you're in it for a few months a year i wouldn't say if you're going to be on the road for two months you really won't really know what it's like to be on the road sure. unless you're doing it full time or consecutively every single weekend. So we've been blessed and had that opportunity to be on the road every weekend. Hmm. And we just had a weekend off uh, this past weekend. Oh, cool. It was my drummer's uh, daughter's birthday. Okay. So they did this little birthday for her. So we had a weekend off, which is great. You know, family is always important to us. So we were like, what do we do with our time? Right. You know, it's so weird. But 
you know, then we get back on it again. Yeah. Get back on the road. Practice. That's what yeah. you do with your time. It's good. So <laughs> that's awesome, man. It's been so, fun. So what's the uh, what's the scene? You said you've been in Nashville a couple times, yeah? I've been to Nashville uh, twice so far. I was okay. able to go and get my feet wet. I've been wanting to go for a very long time, but again, it comes down to having the money to go. Yeah. You know, and having those connections. So I was able to build that up and then ask some people that I know yeah. in the scene. To hey, try to get in there. Yeah. yeah. Who do yeah. you recommend? If you're going to go over there, you're going to go over there for a purpose. Sure. Um, and not just go to have go fun. Go to work, yeah. Or go to have fun, but you're not going to work. Like, just pick your, put yeah. your mind into whatever I, you're doing, yeah. And like, I, if I'm going to go to Nashville, I'm going to go write. Yeah. And I want to write. I want to be a better writer. I want to get with some good people. Build Most importantly, build up some really good friendships so sure. that I can bring back. So if I can return the favor... And they're traveling through Texas, and we have a Perfect. show. Open up. Get them on board. You yeah, know? yeah, get them in. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So, I love Nashville so far. So far, so good. It hasn't treated me what's, wrong yet. What's the uh, scene uh, around the state of Texas? How's it treated you in terms of just the culture and what you've noticed? Maybe maybe not that as much as just what have you? What kind of advice, I guess, would you give for some people that are going out, to, that are trying to take that leap to get onto the road in that life? Uh, you know, it's... Every, everybody's going to be different. You have a certain way. I would just say just have a vision set. If you have a great group of guys like I do, you just, you just got to just let them know where you're going or mm-hmm. you want to go. And if they're on board, they'll be on board. You know, they'll believe in what you're doing. You got to trust the process too. Yeah. If you're a band and you're starting out, you got to trust as a, as a musician – supporting the main guy or the lead girl, whoever it sure. is, you have to believe in their vision. You have to trust them. And most importantly, what I've, what I've noticed, you've got to keep your word. If you can't keep your word, then, then it means nothing. So yeah. that's what I learned, you know, and my guys have stuck with me and, and I try to treat them as best as I can and yeah. go from there. And the scene, you know, you don't know it, the gigs. We send out tons of emails mm-hmm. and, and, and every day, every week, and we get a lot of no's. But that's behind the it's scenes. Happen. Yeah, yeah, it's going to happen. We get a lot of no's. Hey, you're not, you know, I don't think your music fits in our venue. And yeah. okay, fine. We just keep moving forward. Yeah. So if everyone I've was seen coming it, to your shows, you'd be number one already. Yeah. So. <laughs> you know, and, and we see it a lot. Yeah. But my guys understand that, you know, there's a struggle to everything until we can really make it on there. But honestly, what when looking back right now, how many shows we have moving forward and what we've done so far, they, they've all been brand new. Yeah. Brand new shows. And we go in there to just win people over. And it's our first time there. Hey, guys, it's our first time. Let's have a great show. Just If you mess up on a note, two or three, fine. Just have fun. Mm-hmm. You know, like show these people that you are a good time. And, mm-hmm. and we'll go back and we'll fix it later. It's yeah. fine. It's not yeah. a big deal. So um, just those little things. But you got to have a vision first. If, sure. if you're the lead guy or running your show, you got to have a vision. you got to have where you're going to where you want to be in uh, six months from now, a yeah. year from now. Two years from Big now. Big picture kind of thing, yeah. Yeah, you got to have and you got to have it planned out. But the trust set. goes both ways, too. You mentioned that earlier, the taking mm-hmm. care of your guys. And that's the thing I feel like gets lost, not all the time, but it, it definitely gets lost in that translation, too. You got to know that they're going to trust you, but you got to pay it yeah. back to them. You know, these people are it, sacrificing. They they are doing the same thing I'm doing, yeah. just in different locations right now. Yeah. You know, being away from home, they're away from home from their families, or, or mm-hmm. they're taking a big risk of, of having something that's security. Yeah, yeah. And where the band is having a band is not security until you can really get a record deal or book an agent Even to keep then, you on the road. Yeah. But when you're independent and booking your own shows, majority of them, um, there's a lot that goes into it. So mm-hmm. my guys, you know, when I, when we get a confirmation on an email that we got a show, I'm excited. Mm-hmm. I text yeah. my guys oh, right away. Yeah. Hey, dude, we got work. Put on the calendar, man. We yep. got work. Got work. Uh, Google Calendar. Yep. Uh, look it up. You know what I mean? But it's so good. But it's a struggle. But the reward is also very, very good. Like, cool. you know, when we have those great shows, yeah. when we oh. open up for the right people. Nothing better. Uh, it's awesome, The man. stage, man. It's great. The it's live. Great. So, it's, yeah. If you're no in a, other word to describe it. Yeah. If you're in a band, just have a plan. Yeah. Uh, keep your word. Treat your guys good. They'll treat you good. Um, just be a human being about it, you know. <laughs> then you got to trust the process. That's if you're a musician, good. backing somebody up or being part of a, 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 a project. Mm-hmm. You gotta just trust the process. Yep, be in so, the moment, and yep. live it out. Exactly. So, so tell us what else you have coming up, man. Cause so a couple things we got coming up. Um, so we're writing for the third album okay. right now, we're trying to get as many songs as we can. Did you that. have a release date for that? I don't know. Nope. If, okay. So cool. TBA because we're All still right. writing, and yep. uh, 
The biggest thing that we, that we have coming up right now is we're going to open up for Kyle Park at Green Hall. Nice. June 9th. That's a cool one. So that's going to be our, our probably our biggest show this year Sweet. that we've had. June 9th, uh, you said? June 9th. Nice. Coming up, Green man. Hall. Tickets yeah. available. Greenhall.com. Yes. Today. Go get them. Do it. <laughs> uh, but, you know, and we're getting to the other uh, cities and get to the venues. So we got that coming up. And then we got uh, Josh Abbott Band June 23rd in Concan, nice. House Pasture. And then after that, what do we got going on? Uh, a couple of great shows, same same venues that we play that we love playing at. Yeah. So it's really awesome. Uh, summer is looking really good. Yeah, it's heating and up. Yeah. No and then, uh, let's see. And then August we got Stone Larue back at Concan, little Sweet. float in the river kind of oh. deal. So it's been really good. Um, brand new shows coming up. And we're excited about and the yeah. new music we're playing at shows. So look us up on our website, mattlerhersman.com backslash tour. There you uh, go. Social media stuff. So and yeah. stream us on Spotify. Do it. There you go. Yeah, That's what so. I was going to say next. Is tell <laughs> us where to find your stuff. You just did that. So I appreciate. Yeah, we got it. a new radio single right out that it. we okay. just released on Thursday. This past Thursday. Oh yes, let's mention that too. Yeah. Please. Uh, Hello heartache is now on Texas and Red Dirt Internet stations. So yes, um, on your favorite Hello local radio station. Yeah. Call. Call. Use the phone. Don't text. <laughs> Talk to someone. <laughs> over and over until they play it. Yeah, exactly. So you have to do. It definitely goes a long way, man. So I'm really the where we're at right now. I'm really happy. Um, the fans and the friends that we've made along the way at from shows have been awesome. Um, it's all about building relationships and seeing seeing them, watching them. Yeah, and watching you actually watching them grow and be something. Yeah. And oh it's yeah, pretty man, cool. That's great. It's cool. It's yeah. really cool to see. I'm really awesome. Well, Matt, I appreciate you chatting with us Thanks, for this, man. this uh, little short period here. here. No. Going to play some tunes tonight. Dude. Hell yeah, man. And we're looking forward to that. I'm ready. They can be some sad songs, but they're going to be good songs. Oh, dude. <laughs> songs are songs. We're, we're here for the songwriting and, all the, and the performance, too. So oh, yeah, man. If you're not here yet, get down to the Ranch of Las Colinas, Texas. We are hanging out here for the evening. We have four amazing artists, Matt being one of them, playing some tunes tonight. So y'all come on down. Thanks again, Matt, for Thanks, chatting. Thanks, brother. Appreciate, appreciate it. it. See you. Hey. This next song is the first song I ever wrote about getting drunk at a bar. This song's called Too Drunk Anyway. She was through with my leaving. She had no with my drinking. She was gonna go back home. Tony was the last time, and I don't want to be that guy. But now I'm stuck here all alone. But now I'm headed to the bar with a wheel in my car. We on to put the hammer down to figure out a way to make her want to stay. But I'm too drunk anyway. Now I'm headed back to her house I'm gonna work this all out She ain't picking up her phone But I'm at the front door But I'm not drinking anymore We all know that there's a lie Cause I'm headed to the bar With some haggard than my car I'm gonna put the hammer down Figuring out a way to make her want to stay But I'm too drunk anyway Figuring out a way to make her want to stay But I'm too drunk anyway Hell yeah I'm too drunk anyway. 